Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm upset that we wrecked Scott Pruitt. You know, Scott's got a great team with Brian Patty and the Juicy Fruit car, and uh, I'm glad we won the race, but I'm really upset that we, we uh, took out our teammate, and, uh, you know, Juan's got a long way to go. Um, he's a great driver, but, you know, we just he's got to get his head on, and, and, you know, he does. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he don't have his head on, but we had plenty of time to get by Pruitt, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm real pr proud of Juan and the job this whole Texaco Haviland uh, tail cell car team did, Dodge team did. I, you know, I'm excited, but then again, I, I feel for Brian Patty because we worked hard to, to try to build a team that could work together, and it, it's tough. Brad, obviously very emotional. What's the most meaningful part of this for you right now? Um, you know, we come to Mexico and won the race. We wrecked three weeks ago at, at uh, BIR. We built the car back, and, um, you know, the team the team's just outstanding. The, the motor shop, the fab shop, everybody that put their hands on this race car, is uh, outstanding in my, my eyes and uh, you know uh, yesterday wasn't easy and uh, but uh, we have the best driver in the world congratulations thank you and a moment ago Scott Pruitt made his way up to the 42 beside his teammate Juan Pablo Montoya who climbing down to the car to salute the fans from Colombia and Mexico who have been on their feet for much of this race today but in a very very frustrated uh, and just, you know, he, you heard his, you see his voice of, of all people. Alan Bestwick. With Scott Pruitt. Scott, what are your thoughts? Of all the people that take you out, your teammate. I mean, that was just no good, low, nasty, dirty driving. I mean, you know, the Juicy Fruit car ran great all day long. We were making our calls. We were being smart. I had my family at home. It's just, I can't even put it into words. It's just so disappointing. We talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it in the meetings. He's faster than me, you know, we'll work it out, he can go, you know, but not take each other out. That's just bad driving. Well, what do you say, you know, I mean, I, I totally feel for Scott Pruitt, but I think he's, you know, they'll wake up tomorrow, and I'll tell you what, when a day passes, it always seems like it gets better. There's so much emotion right now, and I totally understand. They both won the coveted 24 hours together as teammates. They were two of the best drivers at Daytona. I'll tell you what, a lot of emotions running down here, guys, a lot of emotions. All right, retaliation after the checkered flag. Scott Pruitt not at all happy with his teammate. Caught up with Juan Pablo Montoya and gave him that nudge, but it's Juan Pablo who waves the checkered flag to the fans a moment ago to the celebration of all the Mexican and Colombian fans. Let's go to Victory Lane. Juan Pablo Montoya climbs from his car victorious, getting the bush back here in seven starts that's all it took in the bush series to get this victory Juan your baptism into NASCAR continues take us through today what are the first thoughts on your mind well you know it was it was a great day Texaco Hubble in Dutch today and with Telso you know they did an amazing job yesterday we was a little disappointed with call it was 30 wasn't great but you know it's great being here in Mexico you know being Telso involved in the car Texaco and Hubble and just everybody you know gotta thank Chip there were high points, low points today. Of course, the low point. Talk about your teammate. What happened? Well, it felt really bad because we both needed a really good finish. And uh, I went into the break in, and they were, we were both breaking about the same point, but he was slowing down the car a lot more. And he kind of stayed wide, so I went for the inside. And when I was there, he just turned, and I, I had nowhere to go. I feel really sorry about him, but, you know. What does it mean to you to come down here to Mexico and win in Latin America? There's his wife. Uh, oh, it's big, you know. We got this one out of the way now, and, you know, the next one we need to win in an oval. I want to win in an oval. You know, that's where we need to be good. A true champion, Doc. His sights are set on the next goal to win on an oval. Juan Pablo Montoya, before this, his best start and finish actually was 39th, Doc. All right, thank you, Jamie. And just... The crew chiefs, uh, Brad Parrott and Brian Patty, able to try to sort of decompress from what just happened a moment ago, discussing, still not real happy about what their drivers did in that contact. We'll wrap it up from Mexico City when we come back in just a moment.